Hey loves, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Carla, also known as Carmen Carla, and welcome to Discover University episode two. So episode two has been, it's been needing to come for a while. I've been needing to get it out. So yeah, so I apologize for not getting this video out last week. It, I feel a bit disheveled with all my words. I'm like, I feel like I'm speaking so fast. But anyways, um, before we get into the episode, I did want to give my thank yous and my gratitude i feel like that video really showed out it's like almost on 1k views and that's like crazy to me i didn't expect it i was not i don't know like it was just just a crazy time and a crazy like thought for me i just wanted to get it out because i've been thinking about the university for so long for so long i wanted to execute this let's play and i feel like i'm finally getting to it but like I'm finally getting to it and it's like issues and problems and blah blah so but i'm still gonna fight through and get this episode out and this let's play for you guys um but yeah i'm going off on a tangent i just wanted to say my thank yous like seriously i was not expecting that i wasn't expecting the comments i'm in shock and then on top of that my willards video has reached 250 almost 250 views i that's another video that's another video i'm in shock about like oh my gosh like that is insane to me i don't know i just i it's crazy like i it's just i wasn't prepared for it i wasn't expecting it um it all came to a shock to me i'm someone who very much like when it comes to youtube i try not to think about the numbers and metrics because i can get i think i tend to overthink and um i like to i'm someone who likes to like you know record edit and post it record edit and post it because i think like i said i'm someone who overthinks a lot so and i'm a bit of a perfectionist so there are times when videos have not been my bestest videos and they're not the standard that i'd liked but i still post it anyways because it's like if i don't i never will um so to get this video out and it to do well and then my other let's play to do well too it, it yeah i think i'm still in a bit of shock mode and i'm not really computing it in my brain but all i can say is like like my deepest thank yous i'm forever grateful i do not think you understand like this is insane to me I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I did. I went and did other things and then came back to gaming because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to deny myself of what I really want to do. Um, I've been pouring my heart and soul into this and for it to pay off like this is crazy to me. So yeah, all I can really say is thank you so much. Um, I am like just forever, forever grateful. So yeah, um, 
on the second episode of Discovery University, episode two, I'm going to be official about it, um, it is spooky day. And as you saw in the intro, I kind of wanted to do something a bit fun, a little bit different to my usual intros, which is like showing people do showing the students and what they do with their lives. I kind of wanted a bit of like a funny intro between the two brothers. So uh, in the intro, that is Justin and Ryan, they're brothers. Justin attends Brad Chester and Ryan attends Foxbury. So of course they've got... A, and they've also met people from Foxbury and Bradford, so they're going to have a good mix of people at the party. Um, in my community tab, you guys might have seen like a work in progress. I've actually <laughs> since then created more Sims, and we'll see like dynamics. Like I've got um, Meredith sorority girls. I've got the sports team come in, uh, and we're going to see a lot of new relationships form. Just a whole bunch of mess during the party, but for now, we're starting off right at the beginning. As you can see from the windows, it is currently, I think it's like half six in the morning. Bam is asleep and we're going to get started with Bam's morning routine and we're going to, you know, play around with the girls. Um, we've got a plan as well for the day. So without further ado, let's get into episode two of Discovery University. Right, so like I said, it is 6.30 in the morning. Um, Meredith was rolling around, I don't know, I don't, rolling around, please. <laughs> She was doing something, I don't know. And then um, Robin is the one who's up. Um, she's enjoying some TV. And you might see here that she's enjoyed some things. And I think it's still in, yeah, BAM system as well. So Robin and uh, BAM actually went to the Spice Festival with BAM's mother, Lena. Aiden stayed behind and then Robin and BAM joined her. So they were like smoking on some shisha that was... Uh, this yeah <laughs> um and i've got some uh, i'll pop it up on the screen of course um some clips some videos it's just them enjoying the time speaking to maya what was that no, girl. Mm -mm. okay we're gonna bring back sabrina you'll leave please leave so yeah they had a good time they came back um i went straight to sleep to be honest uh, they were all pretty tired and you're tired too okay so We'll get you to sleep. Of course, it's spooky day as well. So, um, Robin and Bam seem to love the party spirit, which is great because I got him through that later. But in terms of like <laughs> Meredith, <laughs> nah, you two are in sync for me. Sorry, I know you guys are besties, but that's just too in sync for me. Uh, Meredith likes um, the spooky spirit from being mean, and then she likes to do ding dong ditch because she's mean. Um, of course, I need um, to put this in inventory and then, yeah, safety first. Who huh? are you, ma'am? Like, this is, I'm telling you, it's the most annoying thing. I think I didn't fix it. Like, why are you here? Nobody invited you here. We're a full house, girl. Oh, Meredith is up. Oh, it's Sabrina. Right, right. I was thinking, um, why is there music playing? Um, please come and brush your teeth, ma'am. Just come and take a quick shower. Why did you go through Sabrina's side of the... Whatever. Oh my gosh, yeah. This made me giggle because I've just seen it now. Um, I was going to get Sabrina to go to the dentist. It's not Sabrina. I'm ready to go to the dentist earlier. Bro. I opened the screen, yeah? To click dentist. Why does it say a thousand? A thousand to go to the dentist. Yeah, you can... I forget about you. Forget about you. So now it's, yeah, half nine. I'm actually going to get Bam to go on a jog. Okay, go on a jog, babe. Have fun. You bet. You know what, because... No! Um, anyways. But, um, yeah, so I'm so excited for Spooky Day Party. I don't think you understand. Like, I've got... I mean, as you can see from the thumbnail as well. And we're going up and up and back down. Um... And it all leads to the story that we have never seen before. <laughs> the debate, yeah, that makes sense. Why do Sims always generate this hairstyle as well? Like, it needs to be studied respectfully, because why do you... That's not the point. Right, Miss Robin. You gotta get your ass up, it's 10am, y'all got stuff to do. Oh yeah, I forgot the bathrooms don't work. I still haven't fixed that. <laughs> God, I think I irritate myself. Ooh. 
I gotta cheat it. You're on your period? Oh, I thought I paused it. I am currently actually playing offline because um, I'm scared to update my game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Anyway, so, um, um, Bam is, not Bam, Robin is going to... I'm being never a slob, what's up with you? No, you wasn't supposed to, no, uh, no. Well, what was she supposed to do was visit the Wicked Store because she needs to get, it's not that she needs to get some, um, she just needed to get, yeah, that's all. I don't know what to do with myself, to be honest. Oh! Ralph oh, is cute. I'm gonna wear that in real life. I'm in a very hectic mood. I think because my game is hectic, this should go stomping. Oh my gosh, this elevator music, music, please. It's actually enough, I promise. We'll hear enough music later on in the day. So she's, yep, gone to, um, but there's no, the only thing is there's no bathroom. We might have to go to, did you get what you, Okay, okay, the bell is making me panic as well. What I was gonna say was, because it's spooky day, I feel like the girls, um, before we actually go to the party, which be, might be at like 8, 7 p.m., um, which Justin and Ryan, as you can tell by the trailer, are hosting the spooky day party. Justin is a party animal, so don't expect anything less. So, because they know there's a party later on, which they're probably gonna get invited to, or if not, because it's in by Chester, they're probably just gonna go anyways. Because they um, have seen the invite online, I'll pop it up here. This is what Justin would post like on his um, Instagram story. He'd be the type to write on notes and just be like, here, don't ask me for nothing else. And I'm pretty sure Robin probably messaged him like with any details, like who can come, whatever. And it's, he'd be the type to be like, anyone can come. It doesn't matter, it's an open university only students party that means Brychester and Boxbury. okay so because they know that there's a party they're gonna go get themselves ready so um i'm gonna let them go use the bathroom somewhere else but after that we're actually gonna go to the nail shop get our nails done we're gonna go to the thrift shop as well to meet up with ronan speak up the party and just catch up in general and then we're gonna come back get ourselves ready again put on our costumes get some free drinks take some selfies and then we're gonna go to the party. That's the plan for this morning, this bit of the episode, if I didn't mention it before, because I'm a bit erratic. My brain is like on 100 miles per hour. Right, 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 right. Because we need to use the bathroom ASAP. Ax, no, no. I'm stopping myself here. Yeah. Oh my god, it's 12 p.m. Girl, we gotta hurry up. I've been obsessed with watching um the pink the pink courtroom. Oh my gosh, like it's so funny. I can't. Anyways, so now that the bathroom is available, please use the bathroom. Go use the bathroom too. It's free. This is yeah, you bright commons, but like ain't nobody here. Cute, I know. Thanks, Dad. Brightchester, oh, in autumn time, is so pretty. I can't take it. Huh? Um. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Move. Ah. A bathroom is not where a bathroom is not where you come to chat, you weirdo. Why am I shouting? Um, come and get grilled cheese. I was gonna say, why get a discount? <laughs> Girl, sorry, these zero simoleons. Like, why not use our commons? I'm sorry, this is too cute. Look at that. Oh! 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 Sorry. Anyways, this is, um, this is Ryan out in the wild in his regular schmegular outfits. So, oh, a pointer, a little Easter egg. So in the trailer, Ryan obviously asks his brother to, um, you know, help him under one condition and he's gonna go chill in his room. So Ryan is actually a loner. 
So, <laughs> his brother Justin is a party animal, and then Ryan is a loner. So, this day for Ryan is gonna be a little difficult. Oh, Robin's face, like, I'm sorry, look at her face. She eats. And why are you behind her like that? Why the fuck do you have a drink? I mean, Miss Mayo! Are you old or young? Like, what? 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 No, ma'am. Thomas Jabari. I love that for you. You're in. Oh! Sorry, all my sims that I've made that are important to the story are all here. Um, You'll meet him later. But like you see why you meet him later later you know what i mean yeah this is seth seth hollands holland sorry he lives with his sisters in copperdale but he actually goes to foxbury say hi introduce yourself be nice be sweet uh, happy, um, uh, uh -huh. <gasps> oh slay the beaver suey <laughs> oh, <laughs> Why are you so friendly to, with everybody? Right. Seth came in to speak to Bob. Fuck out. So. Oh no, sorry. No, no, no. Ooh. Ooh. I knew Reddish. it. Reddish. The funniest Reddish. thing, right? Okay, this is okay. It's not the funniest thing. This is the funniest thing. I mean, Robin is gorgeous. Like I love looking at Robin's face. Like, come on. <laughs> and Seth has a crush on Robin. Boy, you're gonna get nowhere. And when I mean nowhere, I mean with like a fat no. I just need a really good conversation. I mean, it's 3 p.m. We need to go. And you're not, no. Exit this conversation. Robin, you need to have to take initiative because bums can be a little too nice sometimes. And let's travel. On we go. Right now. Right now. Get on, get, get on your game. Oh. Oh, yeah. We need to get you your. Cigarettes, you weirdo. Um, nail shot. Before we go. Okay, to get me a snack. I was actually starving. Um. Yeah. Anyways, so this is the nail shot. It's very cute. I thought this is like very reminiscent of like a proper nail shot. Now we're in Magnolia Promenade, and this will be the convenience store that we'll be going to after the nail shop. But um. Yeah, it's super sweet super sweet it's really nice i feel i feel like it's very reminiscent of an actual nail shop for real like i feel like i would see this in real life but um this nail shop is by cerubine um i think it might have appeared on ocean sins as one of one of ocean sins let's plays and episodes i'm not sure because i did see it in the comments but i'm playing offline so yeah oh, let's swim in the rain This is like, yeah, this is given. Um, manicure from. Oh my god, Eric! <laughs> Don't ask me why I'm laughing, I'm sorry. I just like expecting to see Eric here. Sorry. It's not funny now. Oh. Um. Let's do a pedicure from Eric as well. We're gonna get our nails done. We're just pampering ourselves real quick before we have the party later on. It's spooky day. I haven't decided 100% on um, Bam's costume. The party is literally like in three hours. So we really like need to like get ourselves ready to go, baby. So almond shape, short. Sh oh, that one. I <laughs> like my voice broke. Um, I feel like mm, coffin shape. No, I feel like Bam would really do like normal nails. And it's Halloween, so I kind of want to give her like normal black nails. Girl, I get you guys excited about. No, this is not a group conversation. Request a pedicure. At least my girl's getting her nails done. Let me take a picture.
Anyways, um, these are meant to be like drying stations, which I think is so cute. Oh my god, I can't even turn it down just for a second. <gasps> you little, 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 little. Can we across the pedicure from here when she done then? Since. You still not done? Yo, this takes long. What a little, little ish. We're just wasting time as well. Like we need to go. We finished. Cute. Oh. What would Bam do? This isn't Bam, girl. Robin. Red toes. Black toes. Blue toes. Let's do blue. Ah, uh, she had a bad time. Sims who are exposed to things they dislike for extended periods of time will slowly be driven mad. Try surrounding them with things they prefer instead. It's the pop music. You might see. Um, oh my gosh, I can't hear. I can't hear. Oh my gosh, we really need to hurry up, seriously. Okay, so you might see it when I hover over Robin and Bams. Missy, you're on your phone! Nah, this lot are getting cheeky for me. You might see on top of their heads it says besties for L. She just means best friends for life. So, um, it's just, this is, I completely forgot to do this in the beginning of the, um, let's play. Would you be happy to have a chat? No, you wouldn't. Don't be lying. Don't lie to yourself, okay? I can't with this music. Frank is also their hometown bestie. All three of these guys grew up in... Windenburg, why am I forgetting everything? <laughs> they grew up in Windenburg and obviously their friends literally grew up together. So that's why they've got things like eating grilled cheeses, watching live entertainment, movies on TV, going bowling, just like childhood things because this is literally what they used to do. Um, it's 5 p.m. But yeah, um, was gonna go to the thrift shop with Ronan, but like obviously it's 5 p.m. The party's gonna start soon. They need to literally go home, get ready, put on their costumes and bounce. But to be honest, who goes to a party early? You've got to be like an hour, I say like hour tops, maybe even an hour and a half, you can be late. That's like max pushing it. So we're going to send Frank a text. Um, let's just send him a text to say like, hey, um, we can't go thrifting because we need to get ready. So we're going to meet you at the party. We'll see you there. You know? Mm. Oh, she has a lot of good with Seth, thank goodness, because y'all gonna be friends. Anyways. Is this meant to be Kylo Jackson? It's 6 p.m. We're gonna be hella late. We are gonna be so late to the party. You finished? Thank goodness. We're gonna travel. Travel here with Robin. Come on, let's go. We gotta go. Alrighty, we're at the convenience store. Um, there's nobody here to tend to us, but we're actually coming to get some stuff, you know. Um, can we get us a why are you mad? Oh, she had a really bad time. Can you calm yourself down because this is not fun? You try and calm yourself down while Robin does all the shopping. Thank you. Robin, can you come in uh, buy some medicine, please? I'm just thinking, like, what would we get for the party? Do you know what I mean? Some extra stuff. You never know. Thank you. Oh my gosh, her sister, get out, get out. See, this is the convenience store that I put in Magnolia Promenade. It's real cute. I think it fits the vibe to a T. This convenience store is by this creator here. I saw it and I was like, I need this in my game. Obviously it's for Willow Creek, which you can still, they built it in Willow Creek, but I just put it in Magnolia Promenade. So, uh, yeah. Um, please go say hi to your sister. OMG, Makai. <laughs> so yeah, we can finally see Makai in the flesh. Oh, this is Makai. Makai Feldman. I think she studies, is she robotics or engineering at Foxbury, so we will see her at the party as well. <sighs> she, and she actually has um, heterochromia, so this eye is a little darker to this one, as you can see. She's the only one who has heterochromia. 
but oh, I can't like what well, iconic sisters for real Dag. girl <gasps> life has been busy just wanted to check in and see how you're doing all as well that is so cute I'm sorry that is so sweet oh and let's introduce ourselves to Angela Pleasant so Angela and her sister are also meant to be friends of ours um, we just never had the oh Mr. Ally okay girl get your ass out of here Angela you're meant to be the cool Bam's already meant to obviously know Makai, but girl. <laughs> I did make over Angela, Angela Pleasant and her sister. Angela is kind of like would also hang around with them too, but like um, Angela definitely be more like the type to hang around with these lot, and her sister hang around. Lilith, Lilith has her friends she hangs around with, um, but Lilith has got like connections and stuff, so we'll see. The these girls pop up soon and how the dynamic works but i wanted thingy to get out of here too because i wanted to introduce her to elijah so they would know each other maybe like out of just you know casual conversation but this here is elijah copeland um mm. Yeah, this is Mr. Elijah. He I can't remember what he studies with his hidden face tat. Um, yeah, he actually lives at Drake Hall. He goes to Bridechester. Drake Hall is almost like where all the... <gasps> oh my gosh, you've just seen a sim in the background. I'm sorry. I <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. Like, I'm getting too excited about everybody here. But um, yeah, Elijah, like I said, he lives at Drake Hall. Everyone at Drake Hall, like, Drake Hall is almost like where all the cool kids are at. They're all really nice, they're all really sweet, they've all got like things going on for themselves and whatever, but like Drake calls all where the cool kids are at and you'll see every single one of them at a party. In the first episode we actually met Raiden, so Raiden also lives at Drake Hall with these guys. Um Hmm, Elijah. It's 8 pm, we need to go. OMG, it's 8 pm. She's actually oh that side eye is real strong. This is a new sim that I made. Um, she that you might see in my community tab. She is a yeah like I said a new sim. She also goes to Rochester. Um, I think I even introduced her name. Sorry. This is Elijah. She's super pretty. Um, and we'll see her at the party too now. And then I know they're already at the convenience store, but like I needed to go to the convenience store for real and it should be on the phone i can't believe it's 8 p.m and we're not even home yet like we're just gonna imagine like we've seen everyone at the shop we came to buy some little things like some snacks um some drinks uh -huh. i think you're scared but i need you to move fam she's she gonna come back Whose voice is that high? Oh, okay. At least you liked it. That's cool. So, it's literally 9 o'clock and we need to go home, put our costumes on, get ready. And she's tired? I'm cheating her up. You gotta... Let's go home. Quit. Run. Don't even say bye to your sister because you're going to see her at the party. For real. We're going to see everybody there. But yeah, we're just going to pretend like we went to go get some drinks. We went to go get some essentials for the party. You know what I mean? Like, you know when, like, you've gone out, you need to grab some things real quick. That was a strong side eye, ma'am. But yeah, we're going to go and grab some things real quick. Essentials and some extra lip gloss and little body sprays and whatnot. And then we're going to go. Because it's 8 p.m. It's 9 p.m. already. Why does sim time move so fast? Oh, this is cute. Do you work here? No, I just wear this name type of creation like it's Halloween. <laughs> As someone who's worked in retail, that's too real. Who would vape? Did I give? I'm trying to remember if I gave Robin. Robin, it's Robin that vapes. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna buy. No, we're not gonna buy some cologne. We're gonna buy some vape and vape. 
cartridge for Robin. Okay. Um, baby likes to. Uh, oh wow, bags of sugar now. Crushed malted barley. No, no, no one has no dipping tobacco here. Um, maybe buy some sweets. Why not? Um, cigarettes. Nobody here. S nobody here smokes cigarettes. We are gonna get some red IB gone. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay. And then let's go home. Come on, Mia. Thank you. Wait, before I forget, because this is also in your inventory too. Um, this is the vape. Let's give it to Ian. Yeah, right there. Because that's why she's itching and scratching. No? Like, come on. We got things to do. So please take a quick shower. You're still in a bad mood, fam. Give it a rest. Okay, um, I'm just gonna get her to calm yourself down first and then come and psych yourself up because they go to fireworks. Bam, get here right now. I'm probably gonna have to like set the time back. I'm not gonna like, look because spooky day ends at 2 a.m. and it's 10 p.m. So I think, same. I'm gonna probably record this in two parts, but I do have a backup. I do have a backup of a backup of a save file, so I'm probably gonna record the party in a separate file with everybody there, and not at 10 p.m. Cause it's hella late already. I did not realize like introduce myself to all them people was just gonna set us back that bad. I'm bringing up your phone to Green and your while spam is not bam. Robin is having a shower. Um, peanut butter sam sandwich. Go eat them carbs if you're gonna drink. This is ludicrous. I am also, like I said, I'm gonna change everybody's outfits. Mink? Why is your name Mink? It don't matter. So she's out of the shower. Come and get a quick snack. Ham and cheese. And then, oh, you're good. You just need the toilet. I'm gonna go in and change everybody's outfits into their costumes. So give me a second. So because I really did want to give you guys like a Halloween party, as you can see, I'm taking like way too long. It's literally half ten, and obviously spooky day ends at two a.m. Um, I'm like I said, I've got a backup of a backup file, so I am gonna do like the entire party scene, play it all out through that file, and then play through. And then once the party is done, I'm just gonna play it through and change it anything that's different from there to this file so that you guys can see because it's kind of even irritating me that like it's half 10 the chatting took way too long okay i'm gonna get her to change into our outfit she's definitely not calming down because bambo like she's not gonna calm down Bones and Eves. so there's meredith so meredith has gone as a little devil um stank face and all but yeah, the horns actually like illuminate so yeah she's got like a little tie choker with a red dress and then some red heels uh bam has finished and she's you just need to go to the bathroom we'll go to the bathroom we'll get to the party change her outfit i don't know who the hell that is no i do not know who that is and as you can see bam is She's going as a pirate. She's going as this very cute pirate. This is so, this is such a cute outfit, seriously. Um, with the boots, the ripped tights. Oh my God, I didn't even realize I gave that tattoo when I showed it, so cute. And this time I actually changed her makeup as well. So she's got like a braid in this time. And we did like these, um, it's like these lines with the stars. So it's a face real cute. Y'all are in your cash, so I don't know why I didn't take off. Oh, yes. Like, hello? Nah, stomping in your heels is rude. Seriously. And here is Miss Robin. So, Robin has gone as this um, policewoman. Um, and I did ch also change her makeup. I gave her a very, like, dark. She, she had similar makeup to her party wear, but I just chose to change it up just for halloween why not give like a dark red lip with like these 
eyeliner with these like um teary glitter i think it looks real cute on her face no 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 and no don't push it move about eating in my yard like that get out let's take a photo with bam first then we're gonna take a picture with meredith after but besties first no answers Look how cute they look. I'm crying. Like these girls eat. Oh. <laughs> and then uh, take a picture with Meredith. Still no <laughs> I get to take a selfie after. I can't. Sick of foods? Huh? Can't have the time make actually making me feel sick. Cute. I mean, okay. Why are you guys getting? <laughs> Why are they all getting the sad and angry ones? Is it because it's Meredith? <gasps> Why is this one cute? Now wait. We're gonna travel. Forget about the pre drinks, baby. It's time for us to go. So, uh, Robin, Meredith, let's go to their house. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna play the um, Halloween party somewhere else. Of course, I'm gonna record it, but the timing is really throwing me off and it's kind of stressing me out. So, um,. I will see you guys for the official party. I'm going to re-record the party in a different file to get you guys the full party at the correct time. Even though, of course, I'm going to show you guys what happened here, but I just really want to do the spooky party. So I just think it'd be it's it's like you can't you can't not do a spooky party. So yeah, I will see you guys at the party. Okay, it's officially the um, spooky day party. I had to go back into like well where i last explained it was that i had like a backup of a backup file so because i was taking too long and i need to slow down sim time i decided to go into my backup file set the entire thing up and we're doing the spooky day party except i think i am going to play through the guys that live here all the two brothers who have also brought the band over and then once the rest of the people get here i will control specific sims but let's officially get into the spooky day party okay there's not many people here for some odd reason like there's literally like 33 people invited i'm not kidding but let me introduce here in this very tight area so this sim here is isaac um isaac goes to brightchester he studies art history i'm pretty sure and um he's a part of a band we'll get into that this is kian wang i made him like last minute to add just more extra sims into the game this is mackenzie so mackenzie's actually part of meredith sorority girls um not that nice let me say that and then oh i've just realized who oh wait i just realized who raiden's talking to okay so this is becca clark she's actually the sim who is a part of the best of friends household but I just like made her over because I just wanted to. And then you here you have you have here Raiden. So this is Raiden Kessler. He is also a part of the band with Isaac. Um, he attends Brightchester too. Um, this is actually one of the Sims that in the first episode, <laughs> Bam had a crush on Raiden. Um, yeah. But the reason why I was like, oh wait, because he was talking to is because when I was setting up this save file um raiden actually has a crush on becca so we'll see how these two progress here this is ryan this is ryan tran who actually in my the original save file that we're playing in he lives with his brother justin so his brother justin is 
this is his brother justin they live in this house together but i just added like the rest of the boys into this into this household because it's um raiden who knows everybody um in the intro justin's the party animal ryan is the more quiet one so we'll see how he gets along in the party and i'm guessing he's probably gonna go wander off by himself and justin will be doing the party tricks here you have seth this is seth hollins he lives with his siblings in copperdale but he travels to foxbreed for university um he is also a part of the band um with uh justin isaac and raiden then here you have cassie she's also a part of um meredith sorority girls so it's meredith cassie and mackenzie who are like the almost like the mini girl band um let's say them all together are not that nice so this is everybody so far i'm gonna change the volume to like medium i forget how loud stuff can really be who this oh it's cameron well did i get along everybody so here's cameron he's coming with darth vader lit cute wait no way so this is joshua joshua atwood he lives at drake hall in brightchester um mm, cutie and then this is rep burgess so he is actually a part of Ro i think it's pronounced Ro i don't think it's pronounced rohan's like sports frat boys so there's more of his frat boys coming i just don't know what everybody's doing Vanessa so this is Vanessa Ashley no 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 this sim here okay so Vanessa and Ashley are both like sims that I made for this save file that we will see continuously throughout this let's play Vanessa spawn is a witch which is real cute I think she's real she's so pretty um Vanessa is a like country girl who's moved to study to Brightchester um ashley though ashley is my bad b and you're spawning as the mascot hell no nah. now there are a few people there are oh whoa there are a few people who are going to be in costume and a few few people who aren't going to be in costume um like i'm sorry i didn't make a bad b for no reason like come on hello but like my main sim isn't here yet and it's 8 p.m <laughs> He's hungry and being near a slob. Grab a treat. Come on, grab a treat. That's just too much of a bad beat to be out here, just, you know. Oh, that's what I'm actually going to do before we even do anything. I'm actually going to lock this room um, from everyone but household members. Let's just do it like that for now because I feel like Ryan wouldn't want any, anyone in his room, but Justin's fine with it. And Justin, you got people in your house, so you're not introducing yourself. Speak, come on. Wait, 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 We got more sims coming in. Wait. So I feel like everybody is in the zombie costume memo. So this is Lilith. I did make over Lilith. I personally feel like Lilith wouldn't come in costume. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, there's some people that I are in costumes and people who aren't in costume. I'm looking for my main sim so I can get on with the story. You know, that's what I'm asking for. But she's taking a sweet time. Then I say that these lot were gonna come late. See? Probably the main girls are gonna get here late, you know. You didn't ever turn up to a party early. If the party started at seven, it's only been an hour. You get here like half eight, nine, even ten, pushing it. But yeah, so this is Lilith. I feel like she really wouldn't come in costume. Mackenzie looks like she's fully looking at me. Like, I don't need you to be doing that, thank you. I thought that Joshua would come in costume, but like I didn't give him a costume for a reason. I feel like Josh would be like, I'm too fly for this. I came here to smoke up and have a good time. You know? These two are chatting up a s oh <clears throat> She's not talking to you, baby. Cassie and Rep just sat on the couch. Oh, he's having a bigger damn. You know, group conversation. This is an another one of my sims that I just made. This is Jage. Jage Jage? Jage? i mean jade jade whittaker she came as a witch i don't think i gave her a costume but i think this costume is cute in a suit so i feel like everyone's going 
the upper level. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ashley, 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 Ashley. Ashley, let's not start a house fire. Yeah, I was wondering where she went. Um, Makai is here, so obviously this is Robin's twin sister. I gave her a costume, so that's what she's in now. Um, she is in the get down of the get down she's in like a cute pirate girl costume we need to set up the kegs so who's not talking who are you attracted to huh is it joshua i know he's fine <laughs> i know it you don't even have you haven't met him who's not talking you set up the kegs that please what's the part i'm sorry i'm gonna have to pause this because i can't think and um I can't think and do this. My brain is kind of wanting to shut off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's giving. Yeah. Julia is one of the Sims that I made. Um, no. Julia is a Sim that is in. Um... Oh. With an attitude face. Okay. Um, Julia is uh, from the best, of, best, best friends. That's in university. I just made it over. She came with a jockey. That's the outfit that I gave her. Tap the damn thing. So you're flirty and you're attracted to who, baby? I'm still mad. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen, obviously I'm playing through the guys' house. I feel like this is what they would do. I'm. I mean, Jade is cute though, but I think Jade likes girls. Or I think I made Jade romantically attracted to guys, but sleeps with guys and girls. Or it's romantically attracted to women, but sleeps with guys and girls. All I know is the door's not almost closed. Go and tap the keg. And I'm gonna call Bam and the rest of the gang, Ja, because there's no way. Raiden's the one who knows everybody, so get over here now. We're gonna call all the main people, girl. Now give me a second. Sadie is here, but I just accidentally like clicked on her. <gasps> we forgot punch. Punch, we forgot punch. It's downstairs. It's just, please make fruit punch. Let's make strawberry punch. These somebody's not already drinking anyways. I mean, damn. Cassie McNeil? It's nobody in the basement for us. If you're wondering, we've got, we've got alternative. We've got hip hop all day, but then there's like house music. House music? Alternative music downstairs. Can we call everybody for a drink? Grab a drink. You're talking to my guy. Okay. Okay. Who this? Kira Burrows. Oh, Kira. Like, why, is it, why is all the girls as witches? Kira, girl. I'm sorry. I think I gave you a costume, so we're changing you into that. I'm not having it. The party does go on for quite a while. I do have it on for like a very long time. Oh, oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. So, yes, this is Kira Burrows. The woman was too stunned to speak. I know. Mackenzie? Why is Isaac attracted to all of the. What are you telling me, Isaac? What are you telling me? That's what I want to know. What are you telling me? This is Kira, Kira Burrows. Um, Kira is uh, a sim that I made, but she's more of like the friendship group. She's a part of the friendship group with Bam and Robin. Not as like besties, but like, you know, if there's anything happening, we did type of thing. But yeah, she goes to Foxbury. Um, she's really cool she's really sweet and she had the party and a cute costume but like where's everybody else at okay well since the girls are not here oh i forgot to mention i forgot to mention anyways i forgot to mention um well i actually had said it earlier i don't know where the symptom i don't know where the sentiments have gone but robin um seth has a crush on robin just let wait a minute send her over and why if you acquire the flirty trait i mean romance skill who was you flirting with sadie mr raiden here as i was you know fixing the backup file he actually developed a crush on wait 
so no yeah Raiden has a crush on Becca but then he actually ended up developing a crush on Oscar Oscar D Oscar is another sim that I made for Discovery University which we will see in the next episode um and like that bad like he was he had a real crush on Oscar to the point where he was hot daydreaming about him so I was like oh yeah. you mean you're serious it's 11 p.m and the girls are still not here i'm so mad at these girls i'm so mad at these girls okay so surprisingly um ryan is just chatting away with no problem like he's having why is kira flay and wow mm. <laughs> okay is the punch done oh almost ali do you know who we invited? I think we invited like 33 people. There's not even everybody here. Huh? What? What was that? And you're on an iPad? Like, 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 what's happening? While we're here, and the brothers and majority of the band minus one are here. Yes, there are in a, they are in a band. So it's called exclamation point. <laughs> I just love it. I don't know why, I just love it. So it's, yes, the band's called exclamation point. Ra uh, Raiden is the lead singer. Isaac and Justin play guitar and then Seth plays drums. We will see them perform. Now, with the way this is going and me playing offline and sins, important sins that are important and not here, I don't know if we're gonna be able to perform but obviously i do have the longer more guests and longer parties mod so spooky day does end at 2 a.m but the, uh, the party ends when i say so are you in that's the wrong person he is in a conversation with becca but becca is now scared i wanted him to like just ask about attractive preferences do they I don't think Seth has just been vibing. I don't personally think he's had like I'm open attracted to this person, I'm attracted to that person, like none of the sort. Neither has Ryan. He's just been chilling, chatting away. Um now. Mr. Isaac here finds all of Meredith's what's the nice way of putting it? Posse? <laughs> Uh, attractive which is crazy to me and you're kind of breaking my heart here um, and I personally think now I don't know if Ryan is attracted to Kira there's a lot of girls here sorry I need to like make one point first there's a lot of girls here so I don't know if Ryan is attracted to Kira Jade Becca Sadie I don't know I personally think it is um, Kira I'm just gonna ask her romantic interest. Let's oh, just do that. Some simples because oh, he's, yeah. he's also a bit tense because yeah. he's in. He's got a lunar tree. Oh. oh, you got up because as it wanted to sit down. We can't flirt with her though. <laughs> right. She likes long hair. Okay. And Joshua was just outside for like what? Alright. Um, come and play beer pong, beer pong against Joshua. You're already outside, so why not? No. And whilst they're doing that, is the punch finished? Yeah. Oh, Someone left a sugar punch. There's people drinking though. Cameron's flirty from guessing the interaction with like a crush or something. He's downstairs. You're not doing anything. Let's make some blue lemonade punch. Thanks. It's 12 and the girls are still not here. I'm mad. I'm mad. As I go to flip into the other household because you know this is bam and robin and meredith now as you can see there's obviously more sims but the ones who obviously play with mainly are the three and then you have sabrina who's a part of our house ronan who's actually frank in the <laughs> 
and then you have Kira, like I said, and you have Makai, which is Robin's twin sister. As I'm going to click play, I'm thinking, where are some of these Sims? Now we saw that Isaac has a crush on Jade. I'm gonna blur this, but I think you guys will kind of know what I'm talking about here. Okay, I'm afraid because Isaac wasn't playing. Isaac wasn't playing. Oh, yeah. I'm scared Robin's attracted to who? Yes. Nah. Nah, that's not happening. Um, but like, wait. Ah! Shame is free. Shame is actually free. In the middle of the hallway. Oh my, I'm ignoring it. Oh. Okay, but the gang have arrived. Um, I'm telling you, Robin, now we're going home. Okay. Everybody's coming downstairs, I'm guessing. Huh? Kira, can you get off the bed? Okay, you need resetting. Like, why are you stuck on the bed? I'm sorry, Kira, but I think I'm gonna have to leave you. Like, shame is actually free, you know? Shame is free. This is despicable behavior. Okay, we're all attracted to somebody here. So who are you attracted to? Kian? Because I don't think Kian um Kian or oh bro okay, so you find him annoying, but Kian finds you strong. I can't take Ronan, he's just he's too funny. And I can't believe it Wow Why you went to bed? That's why you're stuck because you're on him. Oh. oh 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 now wait okay this is not the party that i was hoping for okay this is not the party that i was hoping wait what happened uh Ronan, you're not an infant so why are you getting like gassy okay listen my game's all out of whack it's all out of whack there's there's so you're doing a toast getting lit with raiden and um Justin, cool, 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 cool. Your obsessed child. Oh, see, the girlies are gossiping. The girlies are gossiping. Gossiping bad as well, because these two, like I said, they're not the nicest. So when they gossip, they gossip. She's apparently attracted to Meredith, which no, you ain't in the nicest way possible. Upstairs, shame is free. So um. Y'all do y'all. And this is cute though. <laughs> is thingy leaving? No. I would ask him to stay. You see the party is done, but I am just gonna allow everyone to just like chit chat and like um whoever's leftovers, whoever's leftover, you know what I mean? Like she's Sibo, Roshi Thama. Are these nastiness done? Shame is actually free, fam. Get out. I can't. Uh -huh. This is actually making me want to like vomit. Ah, Shibi. Just be enough. Ah. Joke to who? Joke to who? Dwi. Faro. Makai's attracted to Rep? Oh. I mean, sure. Try it. Um, I wish you could have done a flirty introduction. That would have been nice. But... Oh, Robin, you have a you find Becca attractive. Wow, wow, Bessie things. You're done. Oh, nasty. But what I was gonna say was, um, any relationships that are developed through like this party, I'm gonna add into my save file so that we're kind of like caught up. It's her stuck here. Like, wake up. 
Well, she moves though. Yo! Did I just say that shame is free? You'll think she's right here. This actually, wait, this proves my entire point. This proves my entire point. I said that Ryan, he was a little too flirty for me. Oh, just remembered something else. Ryan was like, he was very flirty with Kira. And I was like, hmm, what do this what does this mean? But you can't because she's on a period, so. Um and then second of all, see, did I say he was gonna run off into the party halfway through? Okay. He's like that. Yeah. Oh, straight into the costume as well. Hi. Roby! Short! I can't even do that. Don't edit from the world now. I'm getting real irritated because my point was to for them to okay. Jade is egocentric and Jade thinks Makai is in dreamland. Y'all be mean with these um Makai thinks Joshua's annoying and Joshua thinks Makai is immature. I'm sorry, these first impressions are kind of funny. She finds Rhett extremely attractive. And but Rhett finds Makai immature, which I think is kind of mean and rude. Makai thinks June is fun to be. <laughs> Makai, you were not having a good time. You were not having a good time. All right, my plan was for Makai, for you to come and flirt with Rhett, okay? We gotta get something going. Dang nabbit. Interacting with Crush. Who's your crush? Ashley? Raiden? Raiden? Ashley? Who? Who? We haven't even met Ashley King. Oh, she's coming down anyways. I get a feeling that he has a crush on Raiden. Raiden does also like guys too. Um, is it him? I feel like it is him. What if you flirt with him? What would, you, what would happen? I don't know. Find out on the next episode of the school. <laughs> Who are you playing? Is it you? You're playing beer pong with Seth? Oops. Okay. 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 Hmm. Because two players wanted to quit, no, because he fell asleep, the little... Yeah. You need to pee. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is funny, this is funny. Time for wiggles, wiggly tray. That's funny, I'm sorry, that is funny. Oh, it went well. I think. Oh, yes, it did. Oh. Dag, dag. It did. It went well. At least one of us is going to do something. Oh, right. Actually, I don't know. People are starting to be uh -huh. Now, I'm just following people around. This has not been the best of the parties. My game, my sims, they don't want to listen. It'll be nice. So, I got to make do what I got. And it's okay. So, I think Meredith, okay, they're okay, but like, I feel like um, Frank, especially in knowing that like, they have not been, Frank knows that Meredith is in a sorority house because obviously, bam, his bestie tells him the tea, duh. So I feel like he's going to try and get to know her before he's What's like, that, dude? Oh, I feel like he's going to try and suss her out. Oh, 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 <laughs> Didn't I say? Didn't I say? Try to get to know her and then boom. She's rude. 
What was that for? Yeah. What was doing to be nice to you? Everybody left. Yeah, everybody's leaving. Why so? Because it's 7 a.m. <laughs> what? Does everybody just like nothing? Um. Ryan, why are you squatting and working out all of a sudden? Oh. She's the only one that got some like good, you know, romance going on with somebody. She got a start in budding romance with Rhett. Rhett was actually supposed to be in a relationship with somebody else. But you see this green jacket? When you see that green jacket, that means he's one of Ronan's boys. Good luck to you, Makai. Because Makai goes to uh, Foxbury and Ronan don't take so lightly the whole... He's a... Fr oh. Why are you looking there like that? Wow. Um, Makai goes to Foxbury and Ronan doesn't take so lightly the whole, you know... Um, Foxbury and you bright students conversing. He's very serious about that one. Hey. These two are just like hitting each other and will argue three and, how? and then argue again. Murno, just enough. Yara, Naka, Farib, Simpson, Peter. No way. She's not nice. They, oh, they don't like each other. See, I knew they wouldn't like it. I knew they wouldn't like each other because Bam is obviously best friends with uh, Ronan, Frank. Frank. <laughs> Bam is best friends with Frank. Frank does not play around with his best friends. Of course, like Rob, Robin and Bam, are, they're all in a bestie group. They've been best friends literally since they grew up in Windenburg. So um, he wouldn't play around. He just wouldn't play around about his best friends. Like, duh. And he knows Bam has already told the girl, like the, the girls, the girls, the tea about Meredith and how she's mean, she's rude for no reason, she's in sorority house, she thinks she's the ish, okay? And these two argue, and then I do kind of think it's kind of telling in terms of like Ronan was trying to, Frank, sorry, Frank was trying to get to know Meredith, Meredith instantly was rude to him. And then they were fine, whatever, whatever, like Frank let it go, and then she wanted to keep pushing it. So now they got a negative and and he's still in a right place so like don't be shy at me because i don't know you like that duh so yeah i like that so there's a part of the story we'll be developing these two are still still playing love that meredith i mean sabrina hey bam you lost got out you were not that good huh well the sun is literally out and like it's damn near empty look at ryan mm, ryan um not everybody asleep like just everywhere well seth's on the computer brayden ryan and isaac okay this party was a hot mess and it didn't go my way and i'm upset i'm actually upset but it's okay we work with what we got we work with what we have and it's fine because i can continue to keep telling the story so since um bam is tipsy and she's actually not far from a certain somebody we are going to travel with our bestie to this certain somebody um okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that um yeah like i said they're gonna travel to certain somebody's house but i feel like ronan would take his own way home because he's mad at the fact that meredith tried him and tried multiple times and he's like, nah, I'm gonna go blow off some steam and go home because she's pissing me off. Kira is stuck in that bed. I hope she has fun, but she's going home. Meredith, for sure, not go with them. She is in a sorority house. She has a standard, a standard to uphold, so she would not be going with them. Makai would for sure go have her own way home. She's like, you have fun. I had my fun. I'm out. And Sabrina would make her way home too okay 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 
Okay, so you might not be able to tell whose home this is. Or you might be able to tell whose home this is. But we got... We're just, um... Doing a quick trip because it's not far from, uh, Brychester. And Bam is a little, um, tipsy. And she doesn't want to go to her dorm like that or be seen in uni grounds like that. So she's gonna go to a certain somebody's home relax it's a sunday as well it's family time she's gonna freshen up relax with her bestie and then they'll go home later on <sighs> let's knock on the door let's knock on the door i can't believe she said that she what? drinking is oh. fun you're brazy <laughs> you're mad fam so as you can see yeah um whoa we're in Maya's home. So, um, the little update on Maya. I told you, the, this entire Let's Play start of my current household, you are going to see everybody. Okay? So, if you if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Because I'm going to tell you now. So, this is Maya Medeiros. So, she is, she's Aiden's sister. And in being Aiden's sister, Bam is her niece. Maya is Bam's aunt. She lives in Copperdale and is a writer. So, I to, to, to me and in this let's play, I'm gonna do like Bride Chest is obviously where everybody's at. Copperdale is where oh, it's almost like the next. It's like the next um, town over. I don't know. To me, it makes sense. So I'm gonna do Copperdale, the next town over. You can get on like a quick train or a tram, whatever, to get to there. And then you've got Brightchester. So, mm -hmm. Miss Maya. And then um, we do have another a little update um this is Mia so if you watch my current household update Mia actually had a crush on Bia and so Mia grew up in the countryside right um which is more well it's actually she grew up in Chestnut Ridge her and Aiden both grew up in Chestnut Ridge and Bia was also there with her mother and her younger sister and eventually um they met and Mia had a crush on Bia instantly and they've just they had a crush with each other and didn't ch they didn't chase each other or continue to pursue that they went on about their lives mia comes back she, her, as her relationship with her parents had been mending mia has come back um to chestnut quite a f quite a few times and found that bia is still there and as bia is still there they decided to rekindle the relationship and it's gone much further to the point where they are now engaged and they live together in this sweet little home oh i want to mention while i'm here let me mention this while i'm here because i have a feeling i'm gonna forget so the home that i used for justin and ryan um it's called honeydew fields rebuild by nervous one subject this is what i used and then i just changed it up to what i felt fit the boys style and like certain furnitures that's it Yes, so this is the home that I used, Town Square Terrence Renault by Sony Creations. I just obviously changed it to what I felt was Mia's style and why I felt fit both Mia and Mia. So that's the homes that I've been using. Just wanted to give full credit to them. Ah, this looks insane. It's probably definitely ah, my look at them like, oh, Opa. where did you ever go? Because ah, I'm ah, seeing friend. costumes, ah, you know. Bibna, Fina. <laughs> oh, Jongi. Oh, oh, Complain about Kylie right now. Moon Eyed! <laughs> then be like, we went to our Halloween party. Oh, oh, and this is what happened. Plima. We saw this. Two people were doing the nest on the couch. Oh. In. Oh. And call the police. Right, 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 right. Call the police. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she's tired. <sighs> okay. I'm prab. Okay, La even though she's still having a deep conversation, maybe and she's just. What? Lamina Galpa with tea. Maybe she's like, you just, you just come from the no party, you just want to like, oh, honestly Pimpini. relax. You know, Should you wouldn't She'd be like, yeah, of course, no problem. Tribal. So, we're just gonna say, like, let's take a quick shower for now. Hey. While the Why family catch up. Like we're gonna let you shower. What? Don't go in there, don't go in there, don't go in there. Aggie. <laughs> You be an aggy. Okay. Like the girl is tired and she's hungry. Don't be mean. Don't go and follow her. <laughs> I mean damn. 
now mom it's your turn so um can you actually even use the bathroom oh you can hmm from brush your teeth i would show you well, girl i would girl we're gonna do it anyways whatever we're just gonna say that she i don't know i actually don't know i have no answer what was that <laughs> she's sobering off why did that look like she was like i don't know made a gesture on like she had a slim figure or something that's literally what it looked like from here we're gonna nap on the pretty couch mm -hmm. like i never realized actually thinking back to like um robin's costume i never realized like how um like toned she is oh she basically just tried to the 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 bam has family privilege because she didn't buy an eyelid when she didn't buy an eyelid when it was robin i mean she told her to get off the shower i uh, get out of the shower when it was robin but bam just took a shower no problem and she's sweet she's sweet damn she said this is family privilege not everybody gets to do this anyways let's serve some lunch something quick what would be something quick mac and cheese do you, some people do eat that after going out it's sobering i guess but i'm just gonna cook herself some to eat because party was a little crazy not crazy but in terms of like there's just a lot of hecticness i already know when they go home and everybody's in their respective areas and everybody go back to <laughs> studying there's gonna be a lot of drama because you know you had robin who all of a sudden i love drinking <laughs> okay um robin's random attraction to meredith which i said hell no that's not gonna happen sorry it's not going to happen then you've got frank who um has beef 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 why does it sound like y'all are arguing what word oh oh she's cleaning okay she did well i got to do oh. in your inventory oh, thank goodness God. eat it huh. When sim, when you're not in control of Sims, they actually generate doing some stupid stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's just crazy. Anyways, the party. There's a lot of things that I can go off and create more stories with. You know, you've got Rob, um, Ronan, and Meredith not getting along at all. Frank, should I say? You've got these two not getting along at all, which is probably going to be a given. Kira having a thing with Ryan. Mm. I'm gonna explore that because yeah. And then you have Makai having a thing with. Then you have Makai having a thing with Rhett, but that's probably, I'm gonna explore that, or I'm gonna explore that in like in the background. But the reason why like I feel like it'd be good to bring it up just because, so Rohan, who was in, invited to the party, didn't wanna show up, and him and his boys. So we'll probably see the boys and everybody else later in the other, in the next episode. Um, yeah, Makai, and I feel like Ronan and his boys, obviously they run, they're a bit like Meredith and, They'd be like Meredith and her sorority girls. So the the thing is, Meredith is meant to have a thing with Ronan. I'm not gonna explain too much, but she, this is who she's meant to have a thing with. Um, which creates a lot of complications with her in university, uh, university application, the way she's viewed, whatever. And one of Ronan's boys, which is Brett, is meant to be dating somebody, but now has a new thing with Makai. I don't want to i feel like it's really bad to make makai the side girl so we're just gonna say that like rare has another thing with another girl but got and con connected well with makai at the party right i want to explore that but the story would definitely be that like she's gonna have a hard time because ronan runs terror he's the typical frat boy you see them all in their green coats and if you see that green coats you mean he's in that frat house so being in that frat house ronan will be on your case on top of that she goes to foxbury frat boys take a lot of that whole school rivalry stuff very seriously so robin here was meant to get with somebody actually was meant to get with missy who was doing something else with somebody else mm. and bam was supposed to get to know was meant to get meant to get to know the guy who's doing the nasty with the girl that robin is supposed to be getting to know and doing nasty with too like i I can't win. I actually can't win. I can't win. 
My sims actually love laughing at me. So, nah. Uh -oh. The girls have napped. They're waking up. Cheer. Oh. Oh. And you had a nightmare. Because Bam is still asleep, I feel like Robin obviously isn't going to leave without her. So we're just going to send her sister a text. Let's send her a text to just check if she's okay. And then, whoa, not you. And then let's send her. My sims have no... Didn't I say that shame is free? Yeah? Anyways, so she sent a text to her sister, sent a text to Ronan, check that they're okay, and they're all home. Um, I can't, these bitches is being horn dogs. Um, this is a good thing to note as well. I mean, I would be scared too. Not because of the nightmare, but just because of what's going on right now. And I think if we go outside, it'd be even worse. So, um... Okay, well... Mm, whatever's happening let's order oh but i need squash it's fall time let's do that y'all just made it very up <laughs> stop it stop it i'm sorry this is funny it's not funny but it's funny so we're gonna have robin and bam me up out here uh, and we might close off the episode here like that so i'm trying to order food you're decide I think I'm gonna title this episode Shame is Free. Yeah? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna title this episode Shame is Free. Because what is happening to all of my Sims? Respectfully. Okay, she's a. Uh, she's hungover. Robin, babe, they set out chairs here for a reason. Yeah? I'm about to just catch up on a new. Oh, you just. Yeah, run. I'm gonna fuck you up. You can order a drink. <gasps> wait, wait, chamomile tea. Do we order a coffee? Chamomile tea? Oh my god, so I keep I keep thinking my fingers on the damn mic. Um spice spark no, I don't like the sound of that. Spice sparkling apple juice. I don't think they should go together at all. Um coffee or chamomile tea? Tea it should well, be a tea girl. Go get yeah, sorry. Oh, she even groaned at me. Well, at least Robin's here waiting for her bestie. She looks so sad. My goodness. Uh, uh, you can't nap here. No, you're going to nap in. There's no sound coming out of nap here. Hold on. Inica, or potato. Jasper, Get your drink. Uh, Bam, you can't even run. You're actually gonna stroll. She didn't even like. So we, went, we in a rush for what? Which is true. Y'all have been partying all weekend. I mean, the entire Saturday. You side, whatever. And she's about to be today. Can you sit? Bam! Sit! She finally made it for like 10 hours, fam. My goodness. I know, I'd be paranoid too, because whatever you saw is crazy. Um, this isn't a group combo, fam. No, 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 I wanted to end the episode nicely. It's currently 6 p.m., about to be 7 p.m. They just came to like put on to test it. Almost like check up, see how she's doing, um, refresh, relax from the hecticness of the party, especially because these two and their crew came hella late. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. But yeah, anyways, my sims are let me be great. So um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'm sorry for all the late uploads it's been a weird weird funk week um but i hope you guys enjoyed the, the chaoticness of my sims and <laughs> discover university episode two i'm gonna give you guys another episode as well for i'm gonna give you guys another episode of discover university as well which will be episode three and um, because there's a lot of pop-ups and sounds i'm gonna end it here so if you guys did like it please like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next episode of discover university mm -hmm.